I react first and foremost to our relationship personally and find you a generous person and a kind person. And the art world is not the kindest, most accommodating universe in the world. So I like people that are a little bit on the outside that are not embraced by the mainstream. And I think that you, by default, probably both of us fit firmly within that position. The world around Serge and Laurent is that c'est aussi, c'est une certaine amitié, c'est comme une grande famille. Et tu plonges dans cette famille et, et, et tu découvres de, des gens assez euh, très, très, euh, très particuliers, très, très bien. Et il y a toujours un clic. Il, y a toujours, il, y a, il, y a, il a un côté d'humour que, que, qui me plaît, qui m'attire. The last few years have been really great working with Serge and Laurent. Uh, we've done a number of shows together and um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fantastic to have them behind me and behind the work and they're very supportive of what we're doing here. They're great. I mean, they're, they're just, they've been, they've been great, great collaborators and just very supportive. Good people. They, 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 uh, they're honest and they're great to work with. So they make great, uh, uh, they make great partners. So, so far it's, it's been fantastic, a fantastic relationship. Well, I'm, I'm very satisfied. They, they've been very helpful. I think the, uh, the main thing is, is the personal relationship. I don't think very often I've had such a personal relationship with any other dealer. I think they've been really wonderful, actually, to work with. They're very supportive. They, they really kind of stick with their artists and, and try, uh, try to develop a program that has a certain very kind of conceptually grounded core around uh, the ideas of uh, identity and painting. Laurent Serge, um, Sandrine, Margot, everybody I have met and have worked with email has been great at the gallery. So it's been um, a really wonderful experience. Uh, and I enjoyed working with them. It's very different uh, from a traditional American gallery. Um, the kind of open relationship that you have, the kind of um, direct attention from the primaries in the institution is, is rare in many of the galleries uh, compared to the United States. So I was really pleased with that. Yes, I always enjoy having them come by the studio. They always bring, bring chocolates. But it's been great to um, have a continuous dialogue and exchange with them. Um, also, they have seen the evolution of the work, you know, different bodies of work, um, which has been great. Just to, the, the precision of their eye and their investment you know, in the work. And they've also collected a number of works. So, not just you know, selling the work, but also have committed to somehow living with the work as well, which has been great. So the relationship between the artist and the artist gallery is always a kind of uh, complicated one in a way, because in, in one sense, um, it's the, 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 the interface between the artist's work and studio and kind of, and the world, if you like. So there's a lot of responsibility which I would put on the gallery. Um, and I think that in terms of our kind of collaboration, we'll call it, um, it, it seems to, it seems to be working at the moment. And that's, and that's because it also requires flexibility. It also requires um, a certain ability to um, to expand and change and allow change. Um, I mean, I think my work is still, uh, dare I say it, is still evolving. Um, it's still in a process of of evolution. It's still I'm still experimenting. I'm still trying things out. They have to be able to or be flexible enough to incorporate that within their presentation of me, within their representation of me. It's beautiful, it's beautiful to work in art, to work with such things. Yes. 
ou des choses qui sont... Puis on fait découvrir des choses aussi. Oui, ça, c'est chouette. Quand tu arrives, tu as une visite et que tu arrives à émerveiller quelqu'un, ça, oui, c'est chouette. c'est un peu un musée gratuit. Ou alors, en fait. euh, ouais, c'est un musée gratuit. Ouais. On ouais. rit bien. On rit bien. On rit bien, ouais. Beaucoup d'amitié, c'est chouette. Ouais, ouais. ouais. Quand il y a un problème, ouais. tout le monde s'y met. Ouais, voilà. Donc, Quand il faut râler, on est tous là. Quand il faut rire, <rire> est on ça. est tous là, voilà. Ouais. Il y a Petit beaucoup d'humanité. Ouais, petit ouais, lunch et ça, tout. Ça, 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 ça. Beaucoup d'humanité, ouais. ouais, ouais. Euh, après, c'est très sympa, évidemment, de voir euh, euh, toute la panoplie et la gamme d'œuvres qu'il y a euh, au sein de la galerie. Ça, enfin, pour moi, c'est vraiment waouh, wow, quoi. C'est euh, exceptionnel de, de, de voir les œuvres de près. C'est vrai que nous, on est en train de mettre en place euh, des choses pour la suite, en fait. Comme on vient d'arriver, on n'a pas encore les répercussions. C'est vraiment un work in progress, mais on voit que. On, base les, 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 enfin, on, on, comment dire, on pose les fondations pour, euh, pour avoir un travail plus facile dans le futur. Donc, euh, voir les évolutions, pas encore. Par contre, les, les embrayer, les mettre en place, euh, je pense que c'est ce qu'on est en train de faire. Voilà. Et c'est pour ça qu'on a été recruté aussi. Oui, tout à fait. Voilà. <rire> Livrer, aller reprendre des pièces, aller faire des installations, faire les foires. En fait, ici, on est polyvalent. Voilà, c'est l'équipe. Euh, ça se passe super bien, je pense. Il y a parfois des moments de tension comme dans n'importe quelle entreprise, mais je pense qu'il y a une bonne communication. Enfin, dans l'ensemble, ça va, c'est euh, une bonne, euh, bonne harmonie. La galerie est en constant développement. Nous devons constamment réinventer nous, réinventer le modèle de galerie aussi. Parce que les gens visitent les galeries de moins en moins. Maintenant, avec ce programme, et nous sommes créativité, nous sommes un peu lutter contre ça, et nous avons successfully. Donc, so l'audience, les gens sont revenus à la galerie plus et plus. Mais c'est un défi. Il y a tellement d'art, et les gens pensent qu'ils peuvent regarder l'art par Instagram. Et ce n'est pas vrai, parce que vous n'avez pas la texture, la dimensionnalité, et so on. Donc, so, so, so c'est notre job. Noteworthy anecdote. Some naughty, naughty anecdotes. Well, every time Laurent comes to New York, he brings me a box of Belgium chocolate, and I think that's probably the uh, the standout. <laughs> um, des anecdotes. La vie a changé, fort changé depuis que je travaille avec euh, avec euh, Serge et Laurent. C'est que surtout mes mes nuits sont devenues euh, beaucoup plus longues. Euh, mes matinées beaucoup beaucoup plus dures, c'est qu'ils savent très bien euh, trouver des excuses à chaque fois pour m'emmener dans, dans leurs dans leur fêtes et dans leurs histoires. Et c'est que ma vie, personnellement, oui, ça, ça a fort changé avec eux. Bah, je te disais, la fois on est sorti ouais. avec euh, un de... Bon, artiste. un artiste qu'on ne peut pas citer, ouais. <rire> mais euh, on a passé une ouais. soirée euh, géniale, jusque... 4 heures, 4 heures du mat Ouais, 4, 4 5. Ouais. ouais. Euh, C'était rock'n'roll, quoi. Ouais, c'est ça. Hein? On l'a emmené dans Bruxelles et. Euh, on, a fait... on a fait les 400 coups, quoi. Oui. <rire> bon, on aime faire la fête, vois-tu, ouais. voilà. On, on, on dirait la... pas comme ça. Il y a mais... toujours la musique dans la galerie. Il y a toujours la musique. Toujours la musique, ouais. toujours la radio. I don't have a lot of anecdotes. We haven't known each other that long. Um, so maybe more anecdotes to follow in the coming years. We'll see. The difference between uh, the, this gallery and other galleries I work with, we'll say, is that obviously with this gallery, it, it, it has kind of two bosses. You know, I, I, I'm communicating with Serge and I'm also, I'm also um, communicating with Laurent. And they both um, come at the problems from different angles. And, um, and sometimes I think that they, that they're, that they're very different in terms of what their expectations are. But in actual fact, when we move towards like uh, finalizing decisions, they're really together in how they really come together in how they think. So, so, so actually like the, there's a really interesting relationship between the way that, that we get to and we get, we're allowed to discuss things in quite a rounded way. But in actual fact, like what happens going on into the future is quite specific. A lot of my work is, deals with ethics and morals and kind of values and these issues. 
uh, through the artwork. And so it's important to have a partner. Uh, it's, it's important to work with a gallery that I partner up with that actually shares a lot of these values. So. Um, what's, uh, I guess, a particular um, about um, Serge and Laurent is in terms of, since there are two individuals that come with different things they might like, the fact that it is a collaboration between the two of them in terms of um, deciding you know, what um, they find of interested or intellectually engaging or formally engaging. So it makes for an interesting conversation. You know? um, they're also very savvy and smart and um, sophisticated and um, have traveled extensively, et cetera. So. Je crois que la plus grande différence entre, entre les autres galeries, c'est que Serge et Laurent sont, sont venus des amis. Et je crois que quand tu fais ce, ce bout de chemin avec, avec des amis, quand tu essayes de, de conquérir le, le monde, quand tu fais ça avec tes, tes copains, ben, c'est autre chose. C'est une autre démarche. C'est que tu fais ça vraiment du cœur, c'est que tu fais ça vraiment ensemble. You know, I just know that they have a good program and the program is what usually differentiates dealers from each other. And they also, uh, which, you know, is very important. I think that uh, they're, they're financially very supportive. You know, having shows is important, but I mean, I'm more in interested in the kind of critical dialogue around painting. Uh, and the institutional support, um, you know, of, 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 of Kunsthalas and museums and, and of course, it's always nice if they can sell the work. I mean, it, it's all pretty simple in the end. Uh, one of the things that I've really noticed is um, they're definitely on the front of things, that they don't have a lot of people between them and the actual uh, daily goings on of the gallery. So they're very um, in contact with the artists and with the collectors. And I think that's somewhat rare um, that they are so involved and um, play such a, a key role in, in the gallery operations, um, that they're so available. Um, I think that's, that's what makes them um, really special. Most galleries are more interested in your traditional, conventional, throw the art up on the wall, you bring your collectors in, they buy the work and go. But when, when Serge and uh, Laurent understood that I wanted to do something more substantial, more memorable, um, more historically important, they made, they made a way. They found a way to make it happen. And, uh, I can't say that that always happens in, in other places, in other contexts, so I appreciated that. C'est cool. Il y a certains collectionneurs qui ont... Oui, on est contents qu'ils viennent. Ouais, il y en a qu'on aime beaucoup, ouais. Oui. Ouais, et puis tu vois qu'ils sont contents de rentrer ici, quoi. Mm -hmm. ouais. Qu'ils viennent pas que pour... Euh... C'est un chouette moment de la journée, ouais. pour nous aussi. Ouais. ouais. Ils apprécient ta présence, quoi. Mm -hmm. Every collector has his own story. Every collector comes from another industry. Uh, every collector has another need, another eye. And this is really, these relationships are really amazing. Well, art is part of my daily life. Uh, I could not live without art. You know, it's, uh, it's my oxygen. Uh, I have to be surrounded by art. I uh, have pieces of art in my house, in my apartments. Uh, I, every day I, you know, I look at uh, books on art, I visit galleries, this is very important for me, it's the second part of my life. Alors Serge et Laurent, ils m'ont amené dans, une, dans un monde des collectionneurs qui sont très sérieux et d'un côté qui sont pas sérieux du tout. A lot of, it seems like there are a lot of collectors in Belgium, but they also, you know, have collectors in uh, Austria, France, yeah, I mean, they go to art fairs, so, you know, things are more international now anyway. But they're very, uh, I think they really work hard on behalf of the artists that they work with. And of course, they're always looking to expand and they're very ambitious. Yeah, that, that's been uh, uh, one of the really interesting things for me, having, um, I didn't have a presence in Europe um, before this, and so I've, 
I've gotten to know and, and gotten to see sort of firsthand some of the collections in Europe and the collectors there as well. I think there's a different history of collecting and of art in general in Europe, and that's that's something um, different than in Canada and, and in the States. And so I'm getting to know that, um, but there's definitely um, a, an appreciation for for art and uh, sort of its roots that that I really appreciate. I didn't expect to connect with the collectors in the way that I did, just because of the distance, just because of the cultural differences. I didn't expect to find as amazing collections as I did. And all of this is my own ignorance. It has nothing to do with what Serge or uh, Laurent told me. It was just purely my own ignorance. They're very smart, you know. Um, it's um, peculiar smart and educated and um, so it's you know it's good to you know be connected with you know people who uh, been collecting for have a history of collecting um, it's um, been great to meet um, several collectors you know for, up through um, the gallery um, through Serge and Laurent they clearly have a friendship and relationship with people over a period of time so and for that uh, I, I respect that so I think that that the new collectors that I've been introduced to through the gallery um, have tended to be very genuine collectors. I, I really got the feeling that they're in it more for a longer term uh, look at art and longer term thinking about art rather than the short term uh, view, which I feel is kind of n not so positive. Yeah, so Serge, Laurent, Margot, all, all of you, Sandrine, I wish you guys another fantastic 25 years, uh, 25 more years of success. I want to congratulate them on the 25 year anniversary and the great work that they've been doing, and especially how helpful they've been to my painting. Happy anniversary to them both. I think they're both wonderful. And I wish them a wonderful next 25 years. And I hope that they're still as charming and as beautiful as they are now in 25 years. And I'm sure they will be. Ageless and timeless and perfect. To Laurent and Serge, just a genuine thank you. You know, I'm really, really excited uh, for the future and uh, appreciative of sort of the faith and the vision that, that they've shown um, in working with me. Um, so just a big genuine thank you. Thank you, I mean, um, you know, for the collaboration we've had um, since 2014. And it's been wonderful to work with you and to expand uh, my work into that particular a market and community, and I'm wishing them a happy 25th anniversary. Thank you very much, guys, for um, for taking up uh, the baton of of representing me, my work. Um, I think we're doing really well with it, um, and uh, you know, it's been it's been a fun ride, and you know, let's do some more. Let's get on, and uh, we we've got more to go. Good. To the team, keep doing what you're doing. You have made this gallery by prioritizing artists, by putting artists and their ideas first. This is a, a, a unique orientation from many other institutions, art institutions, it's what distinguishes you, is what gives you your power, it's what gives you your influence, and is what gives you respect among artists. Don't ever lose that. Uh, félicitations uh, <laughs> à Serge et puis uh, Laurent aussi. Uh, moi j'ai envie de dire que c'est un travail magnifique uh, uh, qu'ils font depuis 25 ans. C'est génial quoi, tenir une galerie comme ça depuis aussi longtemps. Uh, Chapeau, quoi, donc euh, oui, bravo. C'est un, euh, un projet incroyable. Mm -hmm. euh, on se sent un peu petit par rapport à ça. Euh, ouais. ça. Ça donne envie de continuer, ça donne envie de repartir aussi euh, 
pour 25 ans de plus Well, first that I'm very very happy for them because you know, I saw the gallery from the beginning and uh, I'm really amazed by the evolution of the gallery, what they have achieved in terms of artists, also their presence in all the fairs all over the world and it's really great. It's becoming one of the leading uh, galleries, not only in Belgium, but also in Europe. And I wish them all the best for the future. And I will always be there next to them. As a gallery owner uh, with Serge Marwani, what we want to do is surprise people, bring you amazing shows. Uh, and so we also have some creativity. I'm sitting back of uh, Le Corbusier exhibition, which is totally to the credit of Serge. I didn't do anything about this. He worked for eight months to assemble such an amazing exhibition. It's historic and we like to combine this, this, this very contemporary uh, art artist and then the more modern. And, and this dialogue which happens in the gallery draws different crowds, different crowds uh, is, is complementing uh, uh, different artists, different works, different exhibitions and it's all into a synergetic effect which uh, makes it bigger and, and better for everybody. So I see the gallery as a family. Of course, there are, are people who are working every day uh, to mount these exhibitions, the logistics, uh, the administration, and so on. There are the artists, which is, of course, the most important. Um, and, and that's also, I mean, it's just a big family. Yeah? And, and that's fun. Yeah? And we're all in it for the same adventure and I think for the same success.